What's up everyone, it's Ryan here. Welcome back to my channel. So the last video I uploaded got a lot of attention and I was looking in on the comments here and there and when I uploaded the video, I of course expected some hate comments. I mean, come on, how could I not? But I did not expect the amount of love and support that I received. So that's what really matters to me. So thank you for that. Going back to the hate comments, however, I was reading them and I realized that most of the people who post them don't actually have a lot of knowledge on gender and they don't understand it. So I decided to go ahead and address some of the recurring themes that I saw and back up my responses as to why they are incorrect. And maybe, just maybe, with this new information, people will be less ignorant and thus less hateful. Not necessarily to me, but to other people in the trans community. For me personally, I could honestly not give a shit. And my battery is dying. Okay, so the main reasoning I see people give as to why I can never be a real man is because of three things. There's chromosomes, genitals, and the belief that there are only two genders and two sexes. So I'll be addressing all of these. As some of you know, I am a college student and it just so happens that this semester I have been taking a course in human sexuality. So this is the book for my class and it's what I'll be using as my credibility. So you know I'm not talking out of my ass. Okay, this is actually legit information. In fact, called Human Sexuality Today by uh, Pearson, 8th edition, if you want to look into it. So I'm gonna start off first with those of you who think that I can never be a real man because of chromosomes. So most people are aware that XX chromosomes usually lead to a biological female, while XY chromosomes usually lead to a biological male. Usually, not all the time. You see, sometimes people with XX chromosomes still come out with male anatomy, while there are also people with XY chromosomes who still sometimes come out with female anatomy. Now, why is that? So on the Y chromosome, there is a gene called SRY, and this is a gene that determines maleness. And what happens is that sometimes this gene can be a bit of a flake. So if this gene is missing, that's what sometimes leads to girls having female anatomy, but they have XY chromosomes. Now, what about the guys who have male genitals, but they have XX chromosomes? What happened there? It turns out that that sneaky SRY gene actually ends up being in one of the X chromosomes. I know it could be a little bit confusing, but just take your time thinking about it. It makes sense. So there goes your chromosome theory. Biological men can be born with masculine characteristics, but still have XX chromosomes, and it doesn't make them any less of a man. Now onto those who say I can never be a real man because of genitals. I'm sorry to break it to you, but there is such a thing as someone who could have XY chromosomes. They could have the uh, internal reproductive system of a man, but their outside external genitalia can be that of the opposite sex or it could be ambiguous, meaning they could have testicles on the inside but a vagina on the outside. And the same goes for people who are born with XX chromosomes. They could be born with ovaries on the inside, but on the outside they have a penis. And to go even further than that, there are people who are born with both male and female reproductive systems. So genitals cannot be a reliable, sure way to determine whether someone is a man or not. And finally, to those of you who think that there are only two sexes and thus only two genders, I'm about to break your heart. First, let me tell you that sex and gender are two different things. They're not the same. Sex refers to biological features, so that's like genitals, reproductive organs, and uh, chromosomes, all that. Gender is the social construction of masculinity and femininity. It's made up, we made it up, and there is no direct relationship between sex and gender. And another thing to think about is gender identity. Gender identity is your sense of self. It's how you perceive yourself to be within the gender spectrum, whether that be over here as a man or here as a woman or somewhere in between. Okay, so gender, it's not black and white. It's very gray. So you just learned that there are some people who are born with ambiguous genitals, right? You remember that? Okay, well, there are some cultures who recognize this as a third sex. And there is at least one scholar who has argued that we should recognize at least five sexes. See, sexuality, it's a continuum. So what does this mean? 
it means that there are more than two sexes and there are definitely more than two genders okay so let's recap everything that we just learned okay chromosomes do not reliably determine whether someone is a man and neither do genitals and the notion that there are only two sexes and thus two genders is false so let me ask you a question now kind of like a little quiz say you have a person whose outward appearance meaning they don't have a penis and their sense of self are both female now say this person goes to the doctor and it's discovered that they don't have ovaries or a uterus but they do have xy chromosomes now using what you just learned would you call this person male or would you call them female the correct answer you call them whatever they want to be called because it's their body and it's their choice how they want to identify and really you don't have the right like you are no one to label a body that isn't yours so back to the main point of this video that i can never be a real man you know better now what defines a man goes so much deeper than the superficial stuff so if you choose to bypass this information and still continue to say that i am a technically still a female you're not being ignorant anymore you're being arrogant and narrow-minded because you're staring at these facts in the face and you're still turning your head and saying no and just because something makes you a little uncomfortable or you don't understand it completely doesn't make it automatically wrong and really even if you don't fully understand it it's okay if you're not transgender then you probably never will completely because you're not transgender but i definitely think one of the first steps towards a more peaceful world is tolerance because if you can learn to tolerate something it's a good stepping stone to accepting something and maybe even supporting it. I mean, that's kind of what we all want, right? To be accepted. You see, I can deal with ignorance. I can deal with it. The way I like to look at it is that at least ignorant people can learn. And that beats trying to reason with someone who is stuck behind their own hate and their pride. And I just have one last thing to say to you. You thinking I'm not a man is not gonna stop me from being one. So, that brings me to the end of this video. I just wanted to give a huge thank you to all of you because I just realized I passed 30,000 subscribers, which is just amazing. Like, I don't, thank you so much. It means a lot just to see that people are actually listening and I'm being heard. It's been a little bit of a while since I last uploaded, so just a little personal life update. I started working again, yay, and I'm also a full-time student, so I'm just trying to figure out how to fit YouTube into my time, so just bear with me. So you know the drill, if you want, you can follow me on my social media, which will be on screen and also down in the description. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you heard anything that you liked in this video. Thank you again, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.